Hey there, Nick Tunitakis here. In this video, I'd like to go over the importance of keeping your DNS records up to date, especially when it comes time to deleting old A records where you might be pointing to IP addresses that you no longer control. So a couple of years ago, I released this blog post where basically a recycled IP address caused me to pirate 400,000 PDF books by accident. And this really came down to me setting up a temporary demo application on a specific subdomain of my site. And by the way, I'm not gonna narrate this entire blog post, but I'll link it in the description in case you wanna read the whole story. But uh, the TLDR was, I was recording a video course about deploying web applications securely. And while recording, I just wanted to actually deploy the thing to a real site, but I didn't have a spare domain name, so I just chucked it on a subdomain off my main domain he domain name here, which is, you know, ssl.nickgenitakis.com, right? We're going over securely deploying something, so that felt like a good name, so that's what I did. And uh, that went totally fine. You know, I recorded the course, everything is all well. And afterwards, I deleted the server that was associated to that demo application, and that was totally cool. Now, the not cool part was I forgot to go to my DNS records and remove the A record that was pointing to the IP address that was linking that server to the subdomain. So what happened was after I deleted the server on DigitalOcean, then that IP address is no longer something I'm in control of, right? It goes back into DigitalOcean's uh, you know, IP address pool or whatever. And if someone were to spin up a new DigitalOcean server in the same data center, such as in New York or whatever, then you know they have the chance of getting that same IP address and someone did. And then what they ended up doing was they just set up a web server and they had about 390,000 PDFs about all sorts of things like this that you see in the screenshot. And uh, since my A record was still hooked up to that same IP address, well, you know, that's how DNS works. Suddenly, if you go to ssl.nickgenattackers.com, you know, I was serving all of these PDF books and, and that was actually very, very bad. You know, I had a number of different like copyright strikes against my domain. Uh, fortunately, it didn't tank my whole domain, which, I mean, honestly, if this were like a different circumstance, like that totally could have happened. Uh, but fortunately, you know, I got rid of that A record, which was like a two second fix once I realized what was going on. But, you know, this went on for months before I even got notified of this. Uh, it was, a, you know, a pretty big problem. And uh, thankfully, someone reached out to me over email and even made me aware of the problem in the first place. And then I addressed it uh, pretty much immediately. Now, it's kind of interesting, and the reason I'm making this video now is because this actually happened a couple of years ago, and I never made a YouTube video about this because I really wasn't making YouTube videos uh, consistently back then. You know, there's a lot of posts on my site where I just didn't make a video about them. But this actually happened to me again recently, like yesterday, but it didn't happen to me in the sense where I made the same mistake. This actually happened to someone else, but, you know, email still ended up rolling my way because of an interesting uh, but similar issue. Now, this blog post that we're looking at here actually isn't live yet. I release a new post every Tuesday. So at some point on Tuesday morning, I will be publishing this post and I'll make sure to link this in the description when it's posted. But uh, I actually got an email yesterday morning where I thought someone was going to try to scam me out of my domain name. Like, I really thought that they were going to attempt to get me to like unlock my domain and transfer to them because, and by the way, this is all fake names here, by the way, uh, I make that aware uh, somewhere up in the email. Yeah, for privacy's sake. But I mean, I don't wanna narrate this whole entire uh, blog post, which by the way, is better in written form than just me talking about it here. But you know, the TLDR in this one was this person lost control over their domain and someone who regained control over that domain, like I guess they bought it when, when the domain name expired, they set up a domain level redirect that went from, let's say, example.org, which is, you know, his site, we'll say, you know, of course, omitted for privacy. And it was redirecting to an IP address of a server that I was in control of now. So remember a couple of weeks ago, I talked about doing a, a database backup script in a previous video. And I was talking about how I was using Sendy and whatever, and I had that hosted on a subdomain on my site, mlist.nickgenitakis.com. And what I did there was, you know, I left that server up and running, and it's still running now, but I removed the DNS A record from that because, you know, I, I learned my lesson from uh, this one over here with the PDFs. But I left the server online and up and running. Uh, you couldn't actually load anything from it, you know, it was totally dead, but uh, meaning like it wasn't live, like I wasn't using the email software there, all the, all the services were disabled, but Nginx, the web server was still running. But uh, yeah, I mean, what happened was uh, that IP address ended up being the recipient of that other person's redirect. So example.org was redirecting to the IP address of that endless.nickgenitakis.com subdomain, 
And then Nginx on my side, uh, the web server that I was using, I had that configured to auto redirect IP addresses to their proper domain name. So if someone were to go to something like, you know, 42.42.42.42 as the IP address, it would actually redirect to mlist.nickdonatakis.com. So that's how, uh, and it was probably pretty interesting because if you were to go to example.org, which again, privacy, uh, this is not, not going to work. You're not going to be able to follow along with this one. But, you know, if you go to this domain here, it was then showing that it was making a connection to endless.nickgenotakis.com. And this all really stemmed from that one person just setting a redirect up to the IP address and forgetting about it. And uh, yeah, same type of problem, very similar. So I just wanted to make this video to make you aware that you know, if you are deploying web applications here and there, you know, go through your DNS records and, and really make sure that you don't have any un unnecessary records there, especially A records that point to IP addresses that uh, could be recycled on like a shared hosting provider, such as DigitalOcean or somewhere else. So on that note, let me know in the comments below if something like this ever happened to you. It would be interesting to share such stories. And uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.